This is Twit. So Mozilla uh, just patched a pair of critical zero days that is obviously in Firefox that were being used successfully in targeted attacks against Firefox users. Uh, both were critical remote code execution flaws resulting from some memory mishandling uh, with a dangling use after free pointer, uh, which as we know was previously pointing to allocated memory. The memory was released, but the pointer remained available um, fire and for abuse. Firefox versions prior to the current, which is I always check my, my, my version when I'm reading one of these uh, pieces of news, version 74.0.1 is where we all want to be now. Anything before that has a problem. Uh, they were being found used in targeted attacks in the wild. Um, the first of the two is being tracked as CVE 2020 6819. As I said, a use after free vulnerability tied to a browser component. This is like an internal insider thing. NS Doc Shell Destructor, which is a client of the NSI HTTP channel API. Like, like, I, like I said, okay, <laughs> you know, something deep inside. Uh, it's a function of the browser related to reading HTTP headers. So obscure, but important. Uh, in the case of the second vulnerability, which is 2020-6820, so the previous one plus one, the attackers are targeting the Firefox browser component known as Readable Stream, which is an interface to the Streams API, which is responsible for breaking up a resource received over the internet into smaller chunks for the consumer of the stream. Anyway, uh, attackers would induce a potential victim to visit a maliciously crafted website to trigger these vulnerabilities and execute arbitrary code on devices running unpatched versions, that is any version of Firefox pre previous to uh, 74.0.1, and exploitation of either of these vulnerabilities would potentially enable the attacker to compromise the vulnerable system. Um, and since it was actually being done in the wild, we can assume that exactly that was happening. We don't have any more details. Uh, they're being withheld pending uh, maybe something related to other browsers. The vulnerabilities were reported by two security researchers, Francisco Alonso and Javier Marcos, both of Jump Security. L last week on April 3rd, Francisco tweeted from at RevSkills. He said, there is still lots of work to do and more details to be published, including other browsers. Stay tuned. Um, and that's interesting because, as we know, Firefox sort of now is the lone wolf from the pack. Um, it's not uh, Chromium-based. And almost everything else is under the covers, not Firefox. So it's hard to imagine that something that would affect Firefox, unless maybe like the Tor browser, which is also Firefox derived. I don't know. But anyway, maybe we'll find out more in the future. Uh, maybe they're just sort of teasing people without anything to back it up. Uh, we'll see. Um, but anyway, targeted attack. It's unlikely that any of us were targets, although, well, I, I, <laughs> I, I do prefer Firefox still.